This is the world's most expensive mini rock crawler. And in this video, we're gonna find out why. 55 degree incline. So that's what $370 can do. Let's see how that compares to the Axial SCX24, considered as one of the best mini crawlers at $135. Nope, no hope. Let's bring the angle down a little bit and see what it can do. There we go, five degrees less. So this little crawler's got quite a few tricks up its sleeve and we're gonna compare it to the Axial SCX24 and also this modified SCX24. The reason for its extra stability is its low center of gravity chassis and its longer wheelbase. Next up, a ground clearance test. Oh, no. And now for the Fury Tech. Oh, look at that, easy. So the Furitech has these portal axles giving it massive ground clearance. If we look at a normal crawler, axle is in the center line of the wheel. If we look at a portal axle, the axle is higher than the center. Here we've got the portal box. You've got a few gears in there to bring the drive from the axle down into the axle. So to get the SCX24 up to the Furitech spec, you could have to spend a little bit of money to turn it into this. First of all, you need the car, $135. Next up, we have a look inside the Fury Tech. It comes with a brushless motor and metal transmission. To get that for the SCX24, here's the motor and transmission, $110. Next up, you need a brushless speed controller, $70. Portal axles, $60 and $60. Two of them. So just for those mods alone, we're already about $70 more to build one as opposed to just kind of buying one. Anyway, let's give this modified one a quick blast. He'll climb, can it do 55? <laughs> no. Let's get it down a little bit. 50. Ah, oh, still no. 46. There we go. Ground clearance. Oh, easy. So far, the Fury Tech with its long wheelbase is a clear winner. By the way, we're going to be taking it to Redfin Models later on in this video to see how it compares against the shop crawlers on its custom-built indoor crawler course. Next up, the Axle Twister. Here we got the HBX Devastator, one of my favourite all-time mini indoor rock crawlers. Later on, we're going to give this a little blast around here as well. It's just charging up in a minute. Next, the Rock Garden. Next, the Fury Tech. So this longer wheelbase and low centre of gravity can maybe be a disadvantage sometimes, but we have more power to make up for oh, it. Oh, body off. So the body is held on with these magnets, so you just slip it on and boom, we're on. And yeah, that was delivery driver's fault. So the Fury Tech has got much smaller wheels, so I think we're going to try these wheels on that one later on in this video. Next up, we have the Hill of Doom, and all crawlers can pretty much make it up this side. This side, not so much. Next up, the modified SCX24. Oh, tumble wumble. This one here's got the biggest tyres, so I suppose it puts the centre of gravity up a little bit. Oh, that fell over as well. But can it make it up the doom side? Oh, no. What about with the body off? <laughs> so this is actually based on the FMS FCX24, but a load of upgrades. We've got the brushless motor and speed controller. We've got the low center of gravity carbon fiber chassis, alloy shock, alloy links. And look at all this. You've got so many different options of different shock positionings. It comes with everything that you need to get it to run except for batteries. So the battery I've got here is out of one of these Axial SEX24s. The axles are directly from the FMS, but it's got these alloy Fury Tech links. What's really special about this brushless setup is how slow it can go. Watch. Look at that. I don't think there's any other mini crawler out there with this much control. So speed comparison and full speed. 
So you can go slower and faster. And this is on a 2S LiPo. It can actually take a 3S LiPo. And that'll make it go even faster. If you want to know all the rest of the techno babble and where you can get one from, link down below. So next, let's give the Devastator a quick blast. Then we're going to head over to Redfin Models. Oh, look at that. we got 55 degrees on the hill climb almost. So the tyres on the Devastator, not the grippiest. Yeah, no hope on that side. Devastator has four wheel steering. This is minimum speed and this maximum. Right, Redfin models. Here we are, Redfin models with Jason in the house. Max in the house. So, Jason has got a Fury Tech what is it? It's one of their comp crawler frame kits for the SCX24. You know about this one? This is the stock version of that, sure, SCX24. Yeah. Is this um, bone stock? Uh, just wheel change. Wheel change. And yep, you already seen this one. So over here we have the crawler track. So here's where we're going to go around. We've got a couple of obstacles around here actually that are really tricky to get up. Here, for example. So we'll see in a minute how it goes. Anyway, Jace, what, what you got in your shop that's new? Back in with that. CRX6 hauler and he's made it eight by eight. And this has got some tricks as well. We had this out a little while ago when it was six wheel drive. It's actually surprisingly capable. Oh, Whoa! Four wheel steer. Look at that. Axe 3300 in it as well. And each differential can lock. More diffs under there. Really? Uh, diff lock servo there, a new one. All right, I think this is gonna deserve a full video, isn't it? Yeah. Jason was gonna take it apart again and we were gonna do a little build video, <laughs> but he doesn't want it now. If you guys wanna see it, we'll do a video on this. Comment down below, not take it apart. <laughs> Oh, something's caught my eye. This is a secret collection of cars that no one ever sees. Wow. Is that a, a Beetle? Yes. Can we see that in a minute? Yeah. All right, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Right over, model select. So this has got some tricks up its sleeve. Oh, yeah, so is this a Kyosho? It's a Kyosho Phaser Mark II, and it's just the normal charger with the supercharger body on it. And then I sort of modified it as well. So we've got headlights. Whoa, and where do you do that? On this one? Just on here. Whoa, noise. Oh look, he's got TRX4 M's. You guys in the comments keep telling me I've got to get one. I will do soon, don't worry. Look at that, he's got all the Fury Tech stuff in here. Jason is actually an official Fury Tech dealer. So, if you want any of these Fury Tech trucks here, Redfin is the place to come. That's where it is. Oh, Beetle's out. So, give us a little guided tour, dude. Team Associated RC8, they call it a Nomad. I've taken the cage body off of it. Put a Beetle shell on, it's designed for a... Um, Tracks a slash, I think. And I've put some on-road tires on it briefly. you got to see that bit at some point. Isn't that? Nice? Here's all the other stuff he's got, look. Got tires, Tamiya's, planes. Ooh, gluey type stuff. Air fixes. RC cars. More RC cars. Monster trucks. Mini Zs. All right, let's play on here. Here we go, drivers, are you all ready? Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Straight up for that one. Oh no, no. Jason's already rolled it. So the competition Fui Tech. This is actually the only one without portal axles. All the other ones have got portals. So this one's probably got the biggest disadvantage because it's unmodified and yeah. quite top heavy. Professionals on the case. Oh, tumble wumble. The long wheelbase should help this one. Oh, look at that, straight up. All right, you're gonna need a hand to go for that one. That's the disadvantage of the longer wheelbase, he's beached. So this one here, I've also got rear wheel steering on it. So that's gonna really help it around this tight bend here like this, around there, and then up this corner here, which is apparently almost impossible. Oh, look at that, straight up for this one. Max is straight up. And over. Yeah, look how slow you can go with that, with that furry tech in there. You'd think it's censored, wouldn't you? But it's sensorless. Oh, Max, what's the challenge? So, you've got to try and make it up these steps. Right, okay, so it's so done, boy. Oh, it is made it. So, this one can do it. This one, that rear wheel steering really helps. It's just the wrong wheelbase, look. It's oh, just yeah. sitting there and there. If it's slightly shorter or a bit longer, it would probably... Oh, there we go. Oh, tumble, wumble. Straight on to go. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Don't need a hand to God here. 
Oh. Ah, <laughs> well done. I'm liking that long wheelbase too. Right, next challenge. Go from here yep. to here. Put the side slope going on there. Come on, Max, running out of film here. Oh, he's done it. Oh, oh he's gone as well. Oh, <laughs> Try again, Jace. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's cocked a leg. That's gone, isn't it? Oh, game over. So in a minute, I'm going to take these big wheels off and put them onto this little one. But first, I want to see if he's going to crawl over the cat. So now, let's try some bigger wheels. That looks way better. Question is, will it perform better? Here we go. At the moment, it's going over everything. Check that out. Whoa, what? it's going everywhere. Can it make it up the impossible hill? Oh, look at that! Straight over! So over obstacles, definitely a lot better on the bigger tyres. But how's it going to be like on a hill climb? I think we got 55 degrees earlier, if I remember correctly. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Get the old angle meter on there. So 55 is what we've done before. I'm guessing with the bigger tyres, it's going to be slightly less. Oh, hold on. Still doing it. What? Guys, so the bigger tyres has made it better in every way. It's probably not got much more in it. I reckon if we put this up a bit more, I'm still holding. Surely not 57 degrees. Oh, there's our limit. So these are Trill alloy wheels coupled with RC four-wheel drive scrambler tyres. So expensive crawler, well worth it though if you're going to do all the upgrades anyway. And if you want to know where you can get it from and the upgrades, wheels and tyres, everything else in this video, whoa, link down below.